Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am with Gerald Blaine and we'd like to talk a little bit about some different types of boilers. Now you have seen on uh, some of our episodes on Boiling Point on fire tube boilers, on water tube boilers. Gerald, there's condensing boilers, there's hot water boilers, there's all kinds of things out there. We'd like to talk about this one. This is a Parker and just maybe just talk a little bit about what this uh, the, boiler is. Yeah, this unit, <clears throat> it's a Parker boiler. They're out in California. Um, we sell a fair amount of these. This is a, has some unique applications. This is a smaller nine and a half horsepower unit. Uh, it's got a lot of different training equipment on it, but one of the reasons uh, that we sell it in, the, in one of the applications is in a lot of tank heating and that type of a thing. But this is what you call uh, an atmospheric unit. Uh, most of the types we uh, deal in, are, the atmospherics are usually open down at the bottom. This is kind of a little more advanced version of it that they want to get out. It's a little more efficient than a typical atmospheric, and it's a fan-assisted unit. So instead of just being openly exposed, kind of like the grill concept, mm -hmm. they actually pump the air in, same kind of a combustion type system, uh, but being closed up, it gets a little bit more efficient. So uh, this is what we put in the school to teach with, and uh, it serves its case quite well. It's a bulletproof type unit. Now, this is a, um, a, a water tube or a fire tube type application? This is a water tube. Uh, it falls under the flex style category. Mm. Um, I've taken the rear door off so we can walk around, take a look at that, and explain a little bit about how it works. Okay. Okay, well, we've got the back of the boiler open, and so, Drew, why don't you take us through really how the flame works here and how the boiler actually works. Well, what we have, uh, being that it's atmospheric, like I said, the walls are not open as a typical atmospheric, uh, so we're pumping in the air. Uh, we have clean out ports here, makes it real easy for servicing. And then these unions here, uh, you can pop those open and remove the bundle completely. Mm. Uh, in all of their designs, this design goes from nine and a half horse up to about 150 horsepower. All have those same types of features. And when I said the flex design, they're, they're bended tubes, so you're not going to shock a unit like this. And then the atmosphere kind of functions somewhat like a grill. Okay. Uh, we'll show it actually firing for you, and you can kind of see how that functions. Uh, but overall, this is a bulletproof unit. We've seen these in the field for 40 years. Mm. So the actual flame is down here, like the, mm -hmm. the grill. Right. And then it's all just heating up. Heating up, and the tank right here, the steam is actually... This is your steam drum. Drum in there, okay. Right. So it's fully encased, steam coming out the nozzle, just like any uh, type of a water tube. And it, this is a, a low pressure or high pressure? Uh, we do mostly high pressure. Uh, they do low pressure as well. Okay. And they also make a line of hot water boilers. Okay. All right. Well, good. Well, there you have it. You've got uh, different types of boilers out there. The, again, go out and look at our boiling point. You can see the fire tube and the water tube uh, boiling points that we've done. Uh, we will continue to talk a little bit more about the different types of boilers that we actually have here at our Boiler University lab. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Gerald hanging out with us today. Talk a little bit about that Parker boiler. Now, as you can see, we are getting more and more stuff into our lab. And we'd love to have you here to be able to see all the different types of boilers that we have. But also all the boilers that are out in the field. You'll learn about them here in the Ware Boiler University. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, please share those videos. Appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.